Poland, and winter is not to be missed. Winter sports like skiing are mostly centered on the mountain ranges in the southern part of Poland. But there's plenty of ice skating too. All the major cities have ice skating rinks, and the usual chilly winter means that ice skating on lakes, or even sometimes rivers and streams is possible. Winter in Poland also means long walks in the forest, followed by warm fires and cozy atmospheres indoors, with a special beverage of your choice. It's a good time to spend with your friends. Winter time in Poland is also good for tourism because there are a lot less people around. Hotel accommodation is easier to be had and prices are generally lower. So join us for this special edition of Poland Daily Travel in the studio where we're talking about things to do in Poland in the winter with my guest, Nicholas Richardson. No relation, as usual. Poland Daily Travel. We're here for you. Find us on Facebook at Poland Daily Travel or Poland Daily Live. That's Poland Daily Live on YouTube. And if you're not too busy, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. I'm Will Richardson, and now on with the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. We're in the studio. We're talking about winter in Poland with Nicholas Richardson. Resplendent as usual. You're looking good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, important, I think, to make an effort. Well, you have. You just, everything matches. Yeah, well, that's the idea. I'm very, well, you, for you, this is informal. The, I, I feel naked you know, <laughs> without, <laughs> without a tie or a cravat. I no feel, tie, I feel no like cravat. I'm exposing myself to your viewer. A tweed jacket. <laughs> I mean, you know, well, but you, I, should, but you should be working for Ralph Lauren or something. Yes, well, Ralph Lauren merely took English stuff and sort of adapted it. He adapted it, but, but you no, could... I, I find an... Uh, Ralph Lauren. That without, if you don't wear a jacket, you've got nowhere to put anything, you see. It's very, well, it is helpful, isn't it? It is very helpful. I'd be lost if I had to sort of... That's why I got the, the old... You got the old cowboy, denim the old cowboy jacket on you. The old yeah. cowboy jacket. You, will you be Not rounding that, up cattle in the afternoon? This is travel. I'm feeling a little informal here. Yeah. You know. Well, another thing which is very useful for travel, which you are, uh, of course, a great a proponent of, is the safari jacket. Oh, I like the which safari Which is an ideal, ideal travel garment. Of yeah, course. I like it a lot. It was designed as one. But I, I mean, got that's... three of them. Yeah. Yeah. They are good. I yeah. like that. I've got one as well. But I only I wear them when I go on safari. Yeah. And I've never been on safari. You've never been on safari? No, they're in... I mean, I, you've seen me. Yeah, in your, in your safari outfits. Um, well, that sounds a little weird. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I meant your safari jacket. Oh, safari, I don't have an outfit. outfit. No, no. <laughs> Good Lord. And your, and your hat. Good Lord, and man. You're, you're, you're channeling your out of Africa experience. Yes, no, I don't, I don't wear those hats. I just wear a baseball cap usually. You as, uh, you oh, as Robert Redford. Cap. What? You as Robert Redford. Yes. I, I said right. that before. Me and Bob. You. You, you, you have that sort of slight hint of Robert Redford That about twinkle you. in my eye? That Robert Red... Yeah, the way you speak is very... It, it reminds me always of Robert Redford as of well. Of Bob? Of Bob, yeah. Cousin Bob? <laughs> cousin Bob. Uh, but no cousin. evidence as far as I'm aware that, that Cousin Bob has ever spent yeah. winter in Poland. What? No evidence as far as I'm aware that Cousin Bob has ever spent winter in Poland, which is the theme of your no, programme. He, he lives in Utah. Yeah. Utah. And, oh, yeah, but Utah has winter. Yeah, I imagine it does. Unlike they still us. have snow, do they? Unlike yeah. us this year. But still, you don't have to have snow to go and have a lot of fun in Poland during the winter. No. But let's d d talk about one place. There's a couple of, there's a, uh, the next place I want to talk about is the Biestrady, because mountains, snow, that's what you think. Exactly. If there is going to be snow, it's going to be in the mountains. And uh, they do have sun yeah. right now, especially higher up. But we just don't have it here, here in, in the Wilson. middle of Poland. Um, but... A place that I really like, Zakopane, of course, we talked about, is in right in the the middle and in the under south. Krakow. Yeah. Yeah? It's not quite the middle. Maybe there's a little more on the west, but it's pretty close to the center of Poland. You have Berkowina next door, which yeah, is a nice right. resort. You have Szczawnica, which is a very nice remodeled resort not far away as well to the east. Um, and you can uh, uh, continue on. Uh, towards Germany, uh, along along the mountains, there's a lot to see. Oh, indeed, and it gets beautiful. But the mountains change quite a lot from from the Biscardi to the Tatra. The Biscardi are are old but rather rounded mountains uh, uh, at this stage, um, 
and the Tatra get quite quite tall. Um, taller than anything in, in England or No, well, England is not States. a place to look for mountains. Well, you don't look for mountains there. Your mountains are very old. Well, yeah, well, they've been worn down a bit, they've but they were down. never quite as tall as the... I mean, really old, yeah. like the Svintoshiska Mountains in Poland, yeah. which are the oldest mountains yeah. uh, in, uh, between uh, here and Moscow. But we don't have the... We've never, we're not really on the same sort of mountains as you have in, in, in continental Europe with the Alps and, and these various mountain ranges where you have really tall, pointy mountains. Yeah, yeah. The Tatra are quite pointy. In They're quite pointy aspect. as well, yes. And Slovakia too, yeah. Right. So you can, do a, you can have a lot of fun there, but the place I like is Biaschady, very interesting. Uh, it's a little uh, less uh, intimidating, the mountains, a lot less intimidating. They're quite walkable and high enough to give you some, afford you some majestic views. Yes. Yeah. But a lot of wildlife, which is the interesting part. That is, uh, that is interesting, yeah. to actually be able to see wildlife in the wild. Do you know what you can see there? Uh, in the Bias Chadi? Are you going to tell me? Yeah. I will try. Yeah. Do they have any and wolves? actually, the winter's good because there's a bit of snow. You can follow tracks no. and things. They have bear. Oh, bear, yes. Yeah, more than one. Bears or bear? Bears. Bears, I think. Bears, yeah. Because <laughs> they sound like a, they had one bear. They have one bear. That's, yeah. that, that's more. They have more. Uh, bison. Bison, yes. And they have uh, the lynx, the mysterious ah, lynx. Ah, yes. Mysterious lynx. Do they have wolves? And they have wolves, yes. Um, and uh, yetis. Have yetis? Yetis, the abominable snowman. The ones that got Particularly lost. Particularly nasty in this part of the world. The ones that, the ones that got lost on their way to the Himalayas. That's correct. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. 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 They, uh, they, they stopped off on their way. So you can see a yeti. That's my favorite thing. I'm going yeti hunting with Poland Daily Travel probably in February. Oh, good. Yeah, we'd let things settle a little bit, a little less touristy. Then we'll nip in there and follow the, the tracks... Of the Yeti? Yes. Do, they, do Yeti hibernate? No, I don't think they do, do they? Because they're... No, they're, they're all, they're moving around all the time. Yeah. They're moving around. They, they, see, the Yeti is a combination of a human being mm -hmm. and an ape. Right. A, like a gorilla. A gorilla. So... And, of course, you are from gorilla travel, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> wearing your other hat. Yeah, gorilla so, yeah. travel. Guerilla. Guerilla, yes. The, uh... That is my website, yeah. But... Uh, in the Beers Chardy, have you ever been? I haven't actually been to the Beers Why not? Chardy. What's I don't wrong know. With you? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not as well travelled as you. You've been living in Poland forever. Uh, that, that's not far away. I know. I it's don't a car know ride. Why. I know. I, I, it's hopeless. I isn't go there it, every really? year, at least well, once. I must, I must make a bigger effort than this yeah. time. It's fun just getting your car driving down there. From Warsaw, it's about 400 kilometres. And you see some of the most beautiful countryside of Poland. And when you get there, there's a lot of rustic places to stay. Uh, sort of lodges and things like yeah, that. I've Again, that. you get the I've great that, yes. Polish food, very, you know, local food, farm fresh stuff, and uh, extremely tasty. You will not starve. Plus, you get all the wild beasts, like a, what's a wild pig called in Polish? A jeek. A jeek. You can get a jeek. A jeek. Uh, you can get some bison. I have um, eaten bison, by the way. Yeah, me too. On the way again, not far from this, on our way through to um, Chemisz. Yeah. We stopped off at a, at a restaurant. Where you were filming history. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. they had, and we stopped off at a restaurant. It was a very nice day, and this restaurant, uh, its speciality was bison. So we ate some bison, which is very tasty. You ate some bison? Ate, and they had, mm. to, so they had a herd of bison in the, in the field near, around this old house, very nice. Uh, and the restaurant served bison, so it was very, very good. Bison and, a, bison and a glass of the local beer was very, very nice. Well, there you go. There's even a local beer called Zubr. There but is. it wasn't that, I suppose. It wasn't that, no, it was something That's more... From Bialystok or something. Yeah, it was something more local. So you go to the Biestrati, you can go skiing, you can walk on very good trails. It's not so daunting as in the Tatra, so you can really get a... Uh, yes. A, even in the winter, a good walk. Um, you can... You might come across... You can get some guided trips mm -hmm. and you might come across some, some beautiful uh, wild animals. And it's right there up against the Ukrainian border as well. There's a, you can walk right up to the, to the border uh, where the mountains join and uh, get a beautiful view if it's clear, if it's a clear day. And often the weather there is quite different. It's kind of a, what do you call it, a microclimate. A microclimate, yeah, yes. Yeah, so it can be very cold or it can be a bit warmer, but it tends to have a very special atmosphere 
at any time, but particularly in the winter. Okay, thanks for watching. We were talking about travel in Poland in the winter, and we were just talking about the Bieszczady, amongst other things, with Nicholas Ridgerton. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, Will.